Hi there, my name is Carolyn Soldo. Welcome back to our channel with the most powerful business scaling strategies for your powerhouse business. The world has been sort of crazy, right? So if you've been feeling down or sad or moody or stuck, it's totally okay. It's okay to go through these feelings, process them and deal with them. But then also think about what your next step is and get yourself unstuck. We all have these down days and we all have our up days. And so it's really important that you know how to get yourself to a place where you're focused, you're joyful, you're excited and you're happy in your business. So today I want to give you five amazing strategies to help you get unstuck in your business and come up with a beautiful strategy that you believe in and next steps you can take right away. As always, before we get started, make sure you hit the bell and you subscribe to our channel so you're always in the know when new episodes become available here every week. Make sure you stay all the way until the end of this episode today because I have something really exciting to share with you and an invitation for you. And that's especially important if you feel stuck in the marketing and the messaging department. So make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to Powerhouse Business on YouTube. I'm your host, Carolyn Soldo. I'm a business owner, business scaling master and mom of two boys. I love thinking big, pushing boundaries and doing things differently. Most of all, I'm all about achieving massive growth with ease and helping you scale your business by living the life you love. Let's go. Before we talk about how to actually get unstuck, I want to point out one really important thing, and that is your goals. Right? In order for you to create a plan to get you unstuck, you need to set some goals because those goals will help you create a plan and decide which action steps are right for you. So you need to know what your goal is and really define it. That goal needs to get you excited. You need to love it. You need to look forward to it. And that goal needs to be believable so that you actually believe you can achieve the goal and the goal is right for you. And then you will be committed to it and take the action that is necessary. So set that goal. If you don't know what your goal is, that is step number one, really asking yourself, what will give me that joy? What will make me feel excited? What feels right to me and where do I want to go? And also don't forget, what do I believe is really possible for me? So pick a goal that you feel like you can absolutely accomplish. So let's talk about the first way to get yourself unstuck. And that is by looking at who you are actually selling to. Many times over the last six months, especially, I have worked with business owners who will tell me that they're not in love with their market anymore. Maybe consumer behavior has changed. Maybe you as the business owner have grown and so you are able to do different things. You want to work with different types of people. You want to apply yourself differently in your business. So it's completely normal that eventually you might be outgrowing your market. You might be changing in a way where you're ready and excited to serve someone else. So look at your existing market and the people that you're working with and ask yourself, do they bring me joy? Okay. Is it easy for me to service them, to work with them? Or are they needy and complicated? Or maybe, you know, I'm not aligned with them anymore. The next area I want you to look at is what you're actually selling. So the type of service that you offer. Many times when I talk to clients, they feel maxed out and overwhelmed because they've hit a ceiling, a cap in terms of how many hours they're working or how much resources and capabilities and capacity they actually have in their business. So if you feel maxed out, and that is keeping you stuck. You need to find ways to deliver your services in a way that it's more leveraged. So let's say right now you might be offering services on a one to one basis and your team is offering them on a one to one basis. What if you shifted a majority of your services and your programs to a one to many setup? So instead of just servicing one client at a time, how can you service two? three, five, or maybe more clients at the same time. What new and enhanced services can you launch that are going to be on a one-to-many basis? And also your team. Maybe your team can shift to a one-to-many basis. That will allow you to service more customers without spending any more time. On the other hand, maybe it's time for you to look at the systems, the tools, 
and the resources that you're using in your business that are keeping you limited, right? Maybe there are some inefficiencies. Maybe you need to be investing in new tools, investing in new you know, products and services and resources, depending on your specific niche, that will ultimately help you service more clients. So look at all the different tools and ways in which you work with customers and find ways to service more and impact more people without necessarily investing more of your time or investing more of the stuff that keeps you stuck. My next tip for you is to look at your marketing and your messaging. And that is by far the number one most favorite thing I do with clients when they first come to me. So let's say you and I work together. I would tell you to first look at what is working for you in the marketing department, okay? What are you doing to gain new clients and to consistently bring new leads and prospects into your world that can potentially buy from you? Also analyze your messaging and what you're telling the world about your business right now. Literally list out all the different campaigns and the different strategies and initiatives and things that you're doing and that you're investing your time and money in to bring new business in the door and see what is working really well, what is not working and where you can improve along the way. The next thing I want you to do is then to really sketch out your customer's journey from when they first find you to when they become a buying client. If you already have this figured out, awesome. If not, this is going to get you unstuck immediately because you will actually look at how new customers find their way into your business. So you wanna sketch it out and look at all the different touch points from when someone first learns about you, from when they then researched you, from when they then build a relationship with you, and then they want to actually work with you and buy from you and then become a customer. What are all the little touch points along the way? Are these touch points optimized? Why do we need to look at the messaging along the way? Do you have conversion tools that are working? And then also how automated is this journey? And what can you automate for to save more time? So sit down with a big piece of paper and literally sketch out, imagine someone is finding you for the first time, becoming aware of you, and then buying from you, and figure out what are all the different ways in which this prospect can then ultimately become a customer. That is your customer journey, and that's where you'll find a lot of ways to optimize your business and get unstuck. The next tip I have for you is to look at how you can extend the value you bring to your customers. Getting new customers can be tough, right? One of the hardest things is to always get new clients into our business. However, what if you could find ways to leverage your existing customer base more? Which means that you're actually monetizing your existing clients more and making more money without having to bring new customers in the door. That would be great, right? So take a look at your existing best buyers, the people who love you, who are very profitable for you, where you're you know, joyful and happy servicing them and ask yourself, how can I service them more? How can I upsell them to give them that next level they want? How can I offer them a mastery type of program or how can I give them additional services, complementary services that they probably want, right? You may not know if they want them, but of course you can always ask them. So, so look at what that next level is for your customer and see how you can offer them just that. It might be a recurring plan, it might be a month to month service, it might be something much, much longer term. It depends on what you're designing. But really look at monetizing existing clients and I bet you might be able to find ways to get get unstuck in the revenue department by just doing that. And my last tip for you to get you unstuck is your team and your people. Depending on how big your company is, you may already have a team in place or it may just be you. You may be a solopreneur as they say. It doesn't matter. What you wanna do is look at who needs to be hired in your company in order for you to get unstuck, right? There are certain types of businesses that can run really lean with you know, a team of two or three people. Most companies over time need more and they deserve more, right? So if you feel stuck and you feel like you can't do more with the resources you, you have right now, it's time to look at your hiring plan. If you already have a team of people, 
and you feel stuck, I would like for you to analyze these people and how they're set up. Chances are you might find some inefficiencies, some ways in which you can organize your teams better. Maybe you can put someone into a management type of position. Maybe you can eliminate some positions that are not really needed. Really look at the idea of what happens if I cut someone from my team? How are they actually managing themselves right now? How can they become more independent without you having to be in the middle of it all? And then also, of course, what will happen if you hired someone new? A really great exercise for you as the business owner is to do a time study, okay? So if you're stuck in the time department and the people department, it's time to look at how you spend your time. Lots of time in there. <laughs> so do a time study and see what you're actually spending your days on and how you can either stop doing these things if they're not needed or how you can delegate them and then make a list of responsibilities, requirements, results and all the things that this new team member uh, might be taking over for you. With that, you're able to create a real visual, call it an org chart if you want, right? Of what your business might look like now and also in the future. It's really important for any business when you're trying to grow and get unstuck. By the way, have you left me a comment lately? If not, maybe now is the time. Down below in the comments, tell me about how you're stuck. What keeps you stuck? Do you know what it is or are you looking and analyzing your business right now? And also, have you had any ahas from this episode? Right? Which of the five ways to get unstuck is your favorite one and what are you going to do about it right now? Leave me a comment below and let's have a conversation. So my hope is that my tips today will help you get unstuck and get to that next big level in your company. And if you'd like to have a conversation, you know where to go. Go to carolinsolvo.com slash apply to book in a private business breakthrough call with me. I'll help you analyze your company. Together we can look at all the opportunities that are right in front of you and make a plan to grow your business with ease and excellence. Now stay focused on your goals. I believe that there's always a best next step. You just have to find it. And now you have the tools to analyze your business and get yourself to that next big level. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you liked the episode, give me a like, subscribe to our channel, maybe share it with a business partner, okay? If you know someone who feels stuck right now, share this video with them. They may just have the solution in what we covered today. The one day virtual client attraction bootcamp for coaches, consultants and experts is happening October 26th. Learn the secrets of client attraction and finally fix your marketing problems with your very own online customer funnel. Do you want a ticket? For more info, go to clientattractionbootcamp.com.